What is up guys, it's your boy Sharky and welcome back to my Stardew Valley Jojo playthrough. This will be episode 4. Thank you all for the love and support on the previous episode, you guys seem to really be loving this. I'm actually really enjoying it, a lot more than I thought. Since the game's been released, you know what, 5-6 years, I've never done a Jojo run, this is my first time. I never thought I'd like it, but this is brilliant, I'm really enjoying it. So we're back on the Jojo Sucks farm, here we are, Morris Jr. Today, I believe we will be buying our membership, we will actually become a loyal Jojo member and will be under the wing of Morris, the leader who wants to take over Pelican Town. So it's raining today, which is amazing. I would love it to be raining tomorrow as well, but I don't think we're going to get that. Nope. So shall we go mining, fishing? We need to get some money back up. We've spent quite a lot on all the seeds. So let's see what we can do today. Oh my God. Okay. The spirits are very happy today. We have got the best fortune, so that means we need to do a mine run. We can pick up loads of iron, some copper. As you can see, all the strobes are loving it right now. We don't need to worry about these today. Tomorrow, when we do have to water them, we've got a few sprinklers in the ground. It'll be nice to get some more ready for summer. And then we could literally get a massive scale of crops, which is going to be so cool. So, right, we don't need a watering can today, no axe. I'm going to take my, my weapons already up there, so... Right, we've got a backpack now as well, which is a lot better. We've got some food, three field snacks, two wild plums, and a spice berry from the fruit bats. So let's head on up there now and get started and see if we can progress today. I've saw you guys comment on the video telling me and reminding me that of course it is the salmon berry season and that we should be obviously going to forage and pick these up because these are great for food. 25 energy for a normal amazing to eat whilst you're in the mines and also i saw a ton of comments in the last episode about obviously being able to sell our artifacts and minerals or gems or whatever straight to clint rather than going back home to the shipping bin like i did because i'm an idiot i always forget to do that i do know we can do it obviously it is in my tip videos my guides selling things to the the shops and the npcs rather than going home and putting them in the bin but for some reason with Clint, I always forget to do it. <laughs> I don't know why. So yeah, in the last episode, I had an inventory full of all of our minerals that we obviously found from the geodes that we broke open. And I didn't sell them to him. I went back to the farm. I'm a plonker. But I will remember next time, don't worry. Okay, getting quite a few salmon berries here, which is awesome. We've got three, four normal. This is going to be so good to eat. We've also got a green algae, a leek. We're not struggling for food today. We could spend a long time down the mines, to be honest. Especially with all these salmon berries popping off. Tomorrow I'll probably go down to the woods in the forest and get all of those ones as well. Because we only get a few days of these. Alright, we have took a hit on that energy because yesterday, in the previous episode, we, uh, did we pass out? Or I think we got exhausted, so let's eat these and get back to the top a little bit. Right, we need our weapon, the broken trident. I love this weapon so much. It's actually really, really good to use. It's got good damage. It's fast because it's a dagger and we've got a high critical chance. So let's go on and get some iron. Ladder straight away. Not a bad start. We have got the good fortune, so we're going to see a lot of this kind of stuff happening. I'm going to kill these because we need the coal and I will take the iron before we go down. Like I said, I don't really care about going too far down. We don't need the gold just yet. But we do need iron, so I will stay on these floors quite a bit. Some quality retaining soil. Okay, here come the ghosts. This weapon, honestly, they can't handle it. There'll be a ladder right at the end of this one. Let's kill this bat as well. Let's get open this bag, get all that coal. Let's get out of here. Right, I see some iron. We need this. There's only two on. We're not getting much iron so far. We do need to upgrade this pickaxe as soon as we can. Because when we are searching for ladders, it takes a long time. Oi, there's one. We're alright with a good look, that's for sure. Right, there's a few cheeky copper on here. With some iron. Yes, some more. Ooh, there's a jade here. Sell that. Right, hopefully these sprites can give me a cheeky ladder. Nope. Okay, we've got to find one ourselves. Okay, this is taking a long time. We need to eat something. Come on, where's the look that we've got? We should be finding ladders a lot better than this. This floor is not very kind. We've been on here for like three hours. What's going on? 
Well, it just proves that it doesn't really matter about the look too much. This is a great fortune day. And I've been on here for like four hours and I can't find a ladder. We've killed all the enemies. We've got a great look. It's taking longer because obviously the pickaxe upgrade. It's got to be one of these ones down here. Here come the bats to help us out. If you struggle for a long time, they'll keep spawning enemies and they'll potentially give you one. So I'm guessing this bat's going to give us one after all this time. Or not. That's <laughs> We are so unlucky. What is going on? I've never spent this long on a floor. Ever. There it is. Five hours later. That was horrible. Like I said, luckily it doesn't really matter about getting down. I don't want to, you know, get into the gold parts yet. But I, I want to find iron at the same time. So it would be nice to find a ladder a bit quicker than that. Oh, there we go. First rock. We got one this time. Okay, I think an enemy is definitely going to give us one on this floor. Because there's quite a lot of them. There we go. We've already got one. I'll kill these just to get the XP and, of course, the coal. I don't think there's any iron around here. So let's just get down. We're not having much luck with iron today. I've not, how much have we got? 16 pieces. We've had more on a bad luck day. It's been so bad. There we go. Can we get... Oh, you're kidding me. <sighs> Got to kill all these so we can get our ladder. And there is a lot on here as well. A lot. It would be nice if we can get to 60, but I'm not too sure at this point. We've got one bat left. Actually, it wasn't too uh, long on this one. Better than the other floor, we couldn't find the ladder. Jesus. And they've given us the ladder right at the top. They know what they're doing. Cheeky. Right, come on. Oh my god, are you serious? What is it with these floors, man? 10.20. We are not finding a ladder this early, surely. This is meant to be a very good look day. It's been the worst look I've ever had in the mines, ever. Oh my god. Okay, ladder. God, I'll take that. That was rough. We've got the crystal dagger. Which, I mean, look at the damage. It's still not as good as the one we've got damage-wise. But it's quite weighty, and we've got... Look at that critical power. I'm not sure if this is worth it, if it's any better. Look, it's just not killing them as fast at all. That's rubbish compared to this broken trident. I tell you, we've still got lucky finding this in the fishing chest. It's one of the best weapons I've used early on in the game. I think because we're not going to get down to 65, I might try my luck before we leave. Try and get on to 55, see if we can find any iron. No. 50. It's been so, so bad today. I wish we weren't fishing instead. I would have made more money. This has been poor. Look, there's no iron anywhere. Just monsters. Oh, I've got a cheeky amethyst. I'll take that before we go. And a quartz. Only 24 iron ore. That was pants. But let's get out of here anyway. I need the minecarts. That would be so much better as well. Let's hope and pray tomorrow's a better day. It's not going to be raining, so we do have to water some crops. And I may just uh, do some fishing, get that money back up, because, yeah, we're running quite low again. Okay, we've got a mining skill up, so we can now craft iron bars by using copper bars, which is always handy if you need to. Combat's gone up two levels as well. We did a lot of fighting. And yeah, we didn't make too much money. That was a rough day. 16th of spring. Okay, let's see what the weather and the luck is. Is it raining tomorrow? Oh, it is. We've done quite lucky on this run with the weather, that's for sure. And it's a bad luck day today. So yeah, probably not going to go to the mines. Although, oh my god, look how beautiful this is. I still do think we'd have a, a better luck than yesterday. So at least some of these crops, maybe a quarter of them, have been watered, so that's going to help us a little bit. We've still got quite a lot to do, but luckily, I've just remembered as well, uh, we have upgraded our watering can, so it shouldn't take us too long. There's a lot of strawberries here. This is going to give us so much money. I can't wait. But sadly, it's going to be still quite a few days away, probably not even in this episode until these are ready. And we are only getting two harvests of them before summer arrives and then they'll all die sadly. You can get free harvests if you plant them on the first day you buy them from the festival. 
Sadly, we didn't do because obviously uh, I messed up. But you also need to use, um, is it the 10 or the 20% speed grow? Which makes them grow a little bit quicker. So that's the only way you can get an extra harvest. But that would have cost a lot of money and stuff. And we couldn't have done that anyway. So, so there we go. It's 9.30 a.m., which is quite late, but to say we've got quite a lot of strawbs in here, like, what is it, 200? That's actually really good. I'm happy with that. Then we can just spend the rest of the day fishing, getting some money back up. At least they're all looked after, and uh, they're going to be doing fine. I might need to chop some wood down as well if we go into the, the forest and the woods, because we've just not got enough. We've got eight pieces. So let's eat these winter roots that we found in the mines. And I'll get my fishing rod and we'll go. I need to clear the bottom of this farm as well. So we can actually get out of here. That's a bit better. Right, salmon berries. Oh, look at this. They're going to be everywhere down here. This is lovely. Let's go around and pick all these up before we do some fishing. And then the next time we go to the mines, we're going to have quite a lot of food to sort us out, which is uh, very handy. There's so many here. Look at this. Sadly, you don't get foraging skill for this. I mean, it makes sense because there's so much. But they could just give you, you know, a little bit of XP. So you can still level up as you're foraging. Because this should class as foraging. This is what we're doing right now. We've got a horse radish as well. So much food down here. And we've got some wormies, I see. Wormy wormies. Clay. Of course, it's always clay. I'm glad we're collecting all these because, like I said, they are going to disappear. So we're making the most out of this. Salmon berry season. We've got loads of spring onions as well. This is... We've hit a gold mine. Look at this. Look at all the forage. Look at all the food. This is insane. More spring onions. Yes, please. Oh, there's uh, the lost axe. We may as well pick this up. We can get 250 gold if we give it to Robin. If ever we're up there, we can give it to her, I'm pretty sure. Right, let's just get these here, and then we'll do some fishing in the middle of this island. I like fishing up here. Into this deep bit there. Let's see what we can get. Two hours later. Well, I don't think this is the best spot for fishing. We're not getting very good fish, to be honest. They're only sunfish and chub. And I believe these both sell for very little. So, yeah, it's not the best spot. We're getting quite a lot of iridium quality. Because they're easy to catch. I'm just getting loads of perfect catches every time. So, we should have probably gone up to the lake underneath the mine. To get some of those large mouth. All the bream's coming out because it's night time. Yeah, we could have gone for the, the bull head and the large mouth. I'm not sure this is going to give us much money. The river is always better for fishing when it's raining, in my opinion. We've got our first chest, though. Okay. We've got a bad luck day today, obviously, so we've not had many of those. This is the first. Iron ore. Okay. Well, we do need some of that, so I'll take it. Now, energy is running low. Whenever this is drained, that I'm going to call it a day. I'll save the rest of the food for when we go to the mines or on the next fishing trip. And like I said, I think I'm going to go to the lake next time. The last cast of the night, and then we're going to go home. We've got nine energy left. Can this be a fish? Yeah. There'll be some salmon berries down here because we've not been here yet. We'll take these before we go back. Okay, as I thought, not the best days fishing. Just under 2,000 gold. I don't even think that's enough to still get the uh, membership yet. Oh, we need 700 more. And it's raining today, of course, which is good. What's the look going to be? It's raining tomorrow as well. Oh my god, how many days of rain have we had in spring? This is insane. I'm not complaining, though. And it's a neutral day today, so to be honest, we could go up to the mines again. Neutral day is never bad. Probably that's the best thing to do. Let's have a look what we've got here. Pierre. Yeah, we've got lots of food. You know what? Let's go up and try and get a lot more iron. Uh, what are we like with copper? We could probably do with some more of that as well. Yeah, not a lot. But five copper bars. Uh, yeah, so we're going to need some copper as well. So maybe I'll go back to the lower floors, try and get some copper along the way, pick up some iron as well. Just try and get as much resources as possible today so we can craft some more sprinklers. Let's try our luck. 
Wormies. A lost book. Look at all these we didn't get yesterday. Let's go. Full stamina today as well. I don't mind these leaks. I'll take those. 40 energy. Really, really good. Better than any of these things that we're picking up. So I'm going to go around the lower levels, like I said. Pick up some copper, if we can. And then we'll go to the iron ones a little bit later on. This is what we want. We're getting quite a lot of copper, luckily. Oh, I didn't miss these things. Let's chuck a cherry bomb right there. Why not? Oh, it's one of these as well. Like, they're hard to spot, those, the colours. But we've got a ruby in that one. Told you, we're having better luck today than we did on the actual good luck day. Oh, no. I need this copper as well, so I'm going to get this and get out of here. Because I ain't staying around. Oh my god, we just got another ancient seed. That is insane. We can actually do with the um, the crafting as well. We've already got one of those. That second one. This run has been insane. Two ancient seeds in the first season. You can't write it, guys. You cannot write it. Okay, 36 pieces of copper. That will do for me. Let's try and get some iron as well. Oh, we've got a nice aquamarine here as well. All of these minerals and gems that we find, I am just going to sell. Get that money, money. Let's leave. Let's go back to 45. Nothing on here. Then I'm going to go back to 40. Just going to keep doing this until we find some iron like this. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Free on this one. Wow, lots of dust sprites on this floor. Another aquamarine. And I do see two iron veins down here. And a ladder as well. Right, we need to eat something. Because we are running low. We've got a few more hours to go. We're already on 26 iron. That's not too bad. I mean, is that better than what we did on that good luck day? I still think we're doing alright. All right, I can't see any on here. So I'm just going to get out of this one. Oh, this is more like it. Let's go. Right, quickly eat something. And then I'll get all this and we can go home. We're already on 50 iron ore, but look at all these here. This is good. We've definitely hit a gold mine here. Or should I say an iron mine? Hey, that was actually really good. We did very, very well. Oh my God, there's more. Okay, I'm going to get all this. There's three more here. I don't want to waste this chance while I'm here. This is quite a lot of iron on this floor as well. Okay, last one, I promise. Wow, 73 pieces of ore. Oh, let's go. And we also got the 39 copper. The bug meat's there. Uh, we can make some steaks. That's for an emergency. I'll keep the spring onions in there as well. Got quite a bit of stuff to sell too. So let's get out of here. We might pass out. Well, we probably will again. We're going to lose money, not items. So we're on 4,300. Let's see how much we lose. I'm going to say about six or 700. So we'll probably be on like 3,600 or something like that. 3,700. Let's see. Definitely made it back to the farm at least. I don't know if that helps. It might make us lose less money. I'm not sure. Okay, 3,800. A little bit more than uh, I said. That's not bad. It's raining again. What's the weather? Okay, it's sunny. What's the look today? Bad look day. So it's probably going to be a fishing day in the rain so that sounds kind of fun so what i'm gonna do is i've got lots of stuff here to put away another ancient sea we need to get that down now really to be honest so we have got we don't need the solar essence i can sell all that that's the slime and the bat wings i think we can just sell i don't think we need for this run we don't really need to be doing that so i think i'm just gonna sell everything that we get We've got earth crystals here. All the quartz, do we need it? I don't even think we need quartz, to be honest. That's the beauty of this playthrough. We don't need to keep hold of all this stuff. Why do we need it? We don't. Let's get it gone. This uh, winter route we're going to eat right now because we did take a hit on our stamina, obviously, from passing out. Let's, uh... Oh, it's Jojo. It's Morris. Last night, a Jojo team member found you 
A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you're okay. Okay, it was 431 gold. Okay, our own team rescued us. Thanks for that, Joja. What, guys? Okay, so let's smelt some of this copper. Let's get all this on the go first. So let me knock some of these trees down whilst we're waiting for the things to smelt. I'm going to need all the wood for jars or kegs when we eventually start making some big money, like wine. I don't think I'm going to do animals on this run. Um, it's all going to be crop-based to make our money, wine, beers, or things like that. I don't think I'm going to get any animals. We don't need to. It's going to take a long time, you know, to buy all of the uh, the barn and the coops and then, and then upgrade them. So I think a shed would be good. Fill it out with kegs and make some money that way. Right, taking a hit on stamina. God damn it. It's always going low. Luckily, we've got quite a lot of salmon berries. I need to get this last copper on the go. We managed to get three more. So let's put that one away and get the iron out and start getting some of this smelted now as well. So how many copper bars do we have? 11 and only two iron. I really thought we would be able to get the membership today, but we've not got 5,000. It's been, it's been a bit rubbish for money wise. So yeah, this is gonna be the last day to make as much money as possible. We need 1,200 at least from fishing today, which we should. It's raining, we're gonna go up to, I mean, we could try a look with catfish again. They've been giving us some good money. No, no, I won't, I won't. Because if we get a largemouth bass and bullhead, I believe they're gonna be worth more than the catfish and there's more chance of catching quite a lot of them. Catfish, you know, they only come every now and then. You get a lot of smallmouth bass and things like that instead, which don't give you much money. So I'm going to spend the whole day in the lake, hopefully make as much money as possible. And we've got some bubbles to start it off. Let's go. I love finding these. With bait, look how fast you can get fish. This is going to be a rubbish carp, though, so I'll get rid of that. We only want the good fish. There we go. This is something. Could be a bullhead or a chub. There we go. First good fish of the day. Decent one. This is going to be another carp, but you know what? We nearly caught it. Let's just get it. They've gone. Oh, we've missed out. Look at them. They've gone already. Oh, well, we've got all day to do this, so let's give it a go. We need to eat a lot of these salmon berries as well. Oh, his chest popped up. Okay. There's the large mouth. Give me that money. And free stone. Wow, that was rubbish. I'm going to eat this carp. Only 13 energy. Doesn't give you hardly any money. Let's eat some of these salmon berries and continue. Damn it. Fish too much without concentrating, and we are now exhausted. So, we're gonna take a hit tomorrow, which sucks, but we can still eat something right now to get out of this. We're getting a ton of fish, and it's only 3 pm, so we're doing good. I think I've just leveled up my fishing skill because I can now cast quite far. I wasn't reaching this green plant here before, and now I am. Oh, there's another chest. We've had two of these already so far. Nothing crazy in them, though. Just some bait and some copper ore. So hopefully this one is a little bit better. A geode. We did have a magma one in a previous one. And rice shoes. Great. We're not doing too good with those ones today. Not like diamonds before. I probably could have fished at the beach today and sold all the fish straight to Woolly. Then we would have got our 5,000 and we could have bought the membership. But you know what, it doesn't really matter. There's no time limit on getting that. So you know tomorrow we'll definitely will get it. We should make over 2,000 from all this fish today. We've got some largemouth bass. Iridium quality as well. There's another one of the beauties. That's what we're after. Oh, okay. Another chest. And a perfect catch as well. Didn't even need to move for it. Largemouth bass and a dried starfish. Don't think they sell for much. But, um... Nonetheless, we can sell it anyway. Okay, we're gonna head back home. Energy's running quite low now. And I wanna go back and smelt some iron ore. I want some iron bars. I wanna be able to craft some sprinklers um, as much as we can. So we've only got 10 days left of spring and when we get into summer, we're gonna be farming for blueberries or whatever crop we fancy, whatever's good for profit. You guys let me know in the comments. Should we go for melons or should we go for blueberries? Or something else. Let me know down below what you think we should go for. But I need to get all this bar. We're going to sell all this fish as well. We've got loads of fish here. Look at that. Okay, we've got enough for one more copper. And then the rest iron. 
Oh yes, level 8 fishing. We could potentially be level 9. No, not yet. We had a very good day's fishing. There we go. Look at that. And mining as well. We made 6,000 gold. That is incredible. Exactly what we needed. We sold all of our monster loot and our mining stuff. Yeah, and the fishing did very, very, very well. Look at the largemouth bass. And Iridium sells for 250 each. And we managed to get four of those. So we got 1,000 just from them. That was a very good day. And we can definitely go ahead and buy the membership for Joja, and this is where it all begins. This money that we've got, 10,000, 5,000 of that is getting spent on the membership, and the rest of it, maybe we'll upgrade our pickaxe, or save up for the first bundle, which is gonna be the minecart. We need 15K for that one. The iron is done as well, so we can make more sprinklers, but that is gonna be the end of this episode, so you're gonna have to find out more in the next one. The journey to Joja is truly going to begin in the next one, because we've got to start saving up as much money as possible to clear all of the bundles to eventually turn the old abandoned community center into the Joja warehouse. It's not going to look very nice, and I feel guilty for it. Okay, it's the wrong thing to do, but it makes for a fun playthrough, and it's quite fun and enjoyable at the same time. Just relaxing, making some money, that's all it's about. And if you enjoyed the video too, and you're liking this series, please give it a thumbs up. There'll be a link down below to the playlist if you want to watch the previous episodes, or to watch another series on the channel. I have done a 1.5 beach farm playthrough. We've done a 100% completion series. And if you want a bit of nostalgia, go back and watch one of the first ever series I did on the channel, which was the community center in the first year challenge. The opposite way of what we're doing in this one, I tried to complete all the bundles for the CC in the first year alone. That was a long time ago, so yeah. But thank you all for watching. Make sure you take it easy. Subscribe if you haven't already. But until then, I'll see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.